what's going on guys welcome to another pickup episode let's get started first one i've really been horrible lately at remembering who i buy stuff from the seller's name has left my mind but i picked up a vulture man which is awesome it's really nice and minty uh, the paint looks great there's not a lot of rubs there's a couple specks on the beak he's complete with his weapon and the action feature Still works which you gotta be careful with I don't want to mess up that spring mechanism I'm diving back into vintage Thundercats and I've decided you know I'm only gonna pick them up when I see them complete and I see them cheap which isn't often so it definitely will uh, give me a lot of time to complete this line we got a vulture man a year later and I finally pick up this guy from Rogue One which is Lieutenant Cephla the last wave of Rogue One figures I never saw in the store and then you just happen to walk into a Target one day and not even in the clearance section, but just hanging, you know, behind some of the Last Jedi figures is this guy. I was like, hey, you know what? I need him. Let's just grab him. And he was super cheap. And so now I got Lieutenant Cephla. Uh, nothing special, but one step closer to completing the uh, three and three quarter Rogue One line. Speaking of Last Jedi, last but not least here, I picked up, I guess, Wave 3. I guess technically the Yoda and the Obi-Wan Kenobi were wave two, even though it's just two figures. This is wave three. So let's start off here with DJ Canto Bite. I gotta be honest, I've seen the movie now. Unless he comes back in episode nine and he's like the Lando character where, you know, he redeems himself for selling out our heroes. This character was pretty much pointless. And if he's only gonna have that bit part role, then why would you hire such an awesome actor as Benicio here to play DJ. Um, so hopefully this character will get some resolve, um, but the figure looks great. It's got great paint. He's got some nice gold trim on the collar of his jacket. It's a great looking character. I just hope the character has some more development in episode nine. Our princess, the late and great Carrie Fisher, uh, General Leia here. Parts in the movie with her that I wasn't really feeling, but overall, wondering how they're going to wrap up her story in episode 9 but uh you know the outfit's great it's actually has some great detail there's some great texturing on the coat but you know and the face sculpt isn't horrible so props has bro next up we have ray in her island journey outfit i saw a couple of these figures and what is with hasbro messing up ray's face it's always ray it is extremely hard to find a ray where her face paint is decent one eye is usually down here what the hell are you doing besides her em emotionless dead stare uh, it's a pretty cool looking figure her skin is nice and pasty white so that's screen accurate and uh, she comes with her lightsaber and pistol it's kind of hard to tell if this r2d2 is supposed to be from the last jedi or if it's just your you know all around can be from any movie r2 when he blatantly has his rocket blasters uh, or rocket boosters whatever they are on the sides which to me says attack of the clones and if i knew it was from attack of the clones i wouldn't pick it up but considering i have the c3po you can't really have c3po and not pick up r2d2 so i'm just thinking in my mind this r2 is supposed to be from the last jedi r2d2 you can't go wrong with an r2 figure and last but not least my uh my favorite outfit from The Last Jedi is this Luke Skywalker in his Jedi Exile. I thought Mark Hamill did an amazing job in The Last Jedi. His performance as Luke was great. I may not agree on the character direction and the source material for Luke, but you can't take away from his performance. He killed it as Luke. It might have been his best portrayal. Mark Hamill was great in Empire Strikes Back, and especially with Yoda. He really made you believe in that puppet. But uh, I think Mark Hamill just killed it in The Last Jedi. And this figure is great. I love the different colors, even though it's mostly just browns and beiges. It's got great detail. The face sculpt isn't horrible. His eyes are even. And he comes with his, uh, like, staff thing, you know, that he does a little bit of battling with. Can't go wrong with Luke Skywalker. All right, guys, so these are my pickups. We got some uh, Rogue One figure. The Wave 3 which everyone minus Jin Urso. I didn't feel the need to pick up a Jin Urso in this style packaging. I already have her in the Rogue One line. And then I picked up one awesome vintage Vulture Man from the LJ and Thundercats line. Awesome, my favorite. Nothing too exciting, 
but this is some of the stuff that I got and I wanted to share with you guys. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.